Hi, Zach here at Silencer Central, coming to you today to talk about cleaning the Banish 338 suppressor. So, pretty simple. Your end cap's coming off, your breech cap, the part that screws onto your barrel, is permanently fixed. So, we're just taking off that end cap to get started here. You've got your, your index and your wrench that come with it in the box. You're gonna use that to remove your end cap. Once you get that loosened up, you should be able to turn it out by hand. So once you get that end cap off, turn it upside down, take all your baffles out. You might have to tap it a little bit. So let's say you've shot a few rounds through this between the pressure of those rounds and the carbon buildup. You may not have your baffles just dump out. Um, you can put like a rod or something in the back end and try to push them out. If that still doesn't work or you want to just make it even easier, we do have our baffle removal tool. This threads in the back end of like our, well, a variety of our banner suppressors, the 30, 338, the 223, 22. Threads in, this threads through. So if you want something to assist with getting those baffles out, um, that baffle removal tool would be perfect for you. Once you get those baffles out, we'll take note of this real quick. This is your, this is the expansion tube, okay? So this is the part that is just inside where your muzzle connects. This suppressor has not been shot yet, so it comes apart real easy. This expansion tube, once you shoot it the first time, should not and probably will not ever come out again. That is perfectly okay. You don't need to take that out. Um, it's actually better as far as repeatability after servicing and rerunning on your rifle, just to leave it in. So let's say that guy stays in there. We don't have to worry about that. You've got your baffle stack here. Basically, you're gonna take it, put it in a solution, let it soak, scrub it with a, a nylon or brass brush. Um, or if you've got a sonic cleaner, like this one from Hornady here, you can throw them in there. Um, let that do its thing. Once you get your baffles clean, cleaning the inside of your tube, um, you don't wanna put ever a like a finished product with Cerakote in a sonic cleaner, because you'll take off your Cerakote and ruin your finish. Most of your carbon buildup anyway is gonna be inside your baffle stack. Um, take an nylon brush through there, put some solution inside of there, clean that out. You should be good to go on the tube itself. Reassembly on this guy. You've got eight keyed baffles. So these keyed baffles have little indexes on them that all need to line up. The awesome part here about the Banish 338 is you have a ported blast baffle. Okay, so this is the end one. And because we use Inconel here, this actually doesn't have to index into the expansion tube that came out earlier. So you're just gonna line that final key up. Doesn't matter where that sits inside the suppressor. Basically just gonna turn that upside down, slide them inside the tube, reinstall your end cap, and you're ready to put this thing back on your firearm and go have some more fun. You should have a manual that talks about cleaning with your suppressor when you get it. We've got resources on the website. And of course, we're always here. If you got more questions, feel free to give us a call. We appreciate your business and have fun shooting.